there. I'm Scott Lynch and welcome to my channel. This time I'm going to be doing a little bit of things differently. Show you how we modified this table to make it simple for me. I'm very scotted. They knocked me right at the knees and I can't go underneath. That's something we didn't find out until after we got it. But anyways, I'm going to show you how we got everything arranged. Well, um, let's go ahead and get started. This is the table that we originally bought probably, I guess it was either Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. Basically, we always look out there to find really cheap deals and things we can quite get. This table will have to be in great condition. Our family, the way we like to get a few decors going around the house, we go for a lot of things that shows a lot of woodwork, a lot of detail. He made artifacts in the way that we can tell. It's got not only this rave around the edge of the table, but also if we look at the legs of the table, there's a lot of fancy woodwork that we'd like to see there. And like I said, this table brand new would have been way out of our price range. But we were able to find a very decent table at a very good use price. The people, if I remember right, that had this table at a time, they actually sold it because they were getting ready to move to a new house. They basically didn't want to take this with them. So we took advantage and got a great deal. This table, like I said, we got a really great deal on the table. The only problem we ran into, we were excited to get the good deal. We didn't even think about it, but it worked out well here for me. We went ahead and got the table, and we got home, and we realized the table was just probably about two or three inches too short for me to get my knees underneath. As you can see right now, we've modified the table already, and I have no problem sliding underneath, especially if I don't have a cup of my lap. But basically, we modified it. The way we modified it, you probably couldn't tell in the very first part of the video when we showed the table legs. But actually, if we look down here at the very bottom part of the table leg, there's nothing but a simple 2 by 4 We cut a little square off. We've actually stained it. Matches the table right away. And like I said, if you weren't looking for it, you probably wouldn't even see it. Right now, I'm taking this little block out. This is what we use to check up the table with. Anyways, this block is nothing big. It just simply looks at a little piece of two by four. We've got some felt padding on the bottom of it here. And we've also put a little mark in the very top and just drilled out a little hole. That way the table leg can sit right in there and it will not slide off. And this block is just, like I said, a regular two by four, but we've actually stayed in and it matches the table very nicely. All right, and to show you how easy it is to put one of these underneath the table, I've actually got two volunteers here to help me. One person here is gonna raise up the table, and that one's gonna slide it underneath the foot. We're going to drill it now. A little bit more. Okay. As you can see, it's a very simple way to go ahead and modify the table for us. If you have any questions, please let me know what's up. And also, if you could give me a thumbs up, like this video, it gives me a little bit of hand sharing the video. Other than that, thank you all for watching. Thank you.